Morning, I'm uh, standing outside the engineering building uh, down on 4th Avenue in Portland. And if we had a camp on campus, this is where we'd go. So I'm gonna give you just a quick tour, see what it's a little bit, see where I work, see what it's like. And now we're walking inside what we call the atrium, which is a big, beautiful space. There are, um, there are tables and chairs for folks to sit at. Uh, they eat lunch here sometimes. There's the uh, student services office. So the first thing you see when you come in is student services. So it's a place for you to get help and support. I'm gonna tip my camera up, see if I can do this without messing it up. This is the atrium. It's five stories up. And uh, in that space, we have um, access to, the balconies access to rooms. Also, when I tip it up this way, I don't know if you can see behind me there's a column there. I'm gonna walk around and get a better view of it. It's called our drop tower. So we have one of the premier microgravity resources in the world, really. It's just an amazing thing. And I hope you come by sometime after we all get opened back up, you can see this. But um, this cage here goes up five stories and down to the basement. So I'm gonna tip my camera up all the way, 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 way up there to the top, which is the fifth floor, and all the way down to the basement. And uh, there's a, just a big story there. I can't tell it all to you today, but it's a very cool space where you can um, drop things. And when you drop things, they experience a loss of gravity. So gravity is still there, but um, because like my shoes right now are on the ground and gravity means I'm being pulled towards the center of the earth, but because there's a floor underneath me, the force of gravity shows up as a force on the bottom of my feet, which is my weight. So that's a way to um, experience gravity, right? Just walking around. But if I were to jump or if I were to fall through the drop tower, I would not have that reaction force. And so everything in me, my stomach would you know, float. I'd feel a little giddy and I would feel like there was no gravity temporarily. So we can do experiments in that device. I'm gonna walk up to the fifth floor. Okay, I'm at the fourth floor. Um, there's an elevator behind me, I could have taken that. Uh, there's one more floor to go up, and behind me, tipping my camera up, is the top of that drop tower I was telling you about. So if you were gonna come visit me, when I was working, that is, you'd come to this space, which is the mechanical engineering office suite. Open the door. And it's really sad that there's nobody here. It's a very nice place. Here's a space when you come in, you can sit down and we have a computer in case you need to check something. The folks who sit at this front desk, Sarah, is wonderful. She'll, she'll take care of your questions. And uh, you walk past her desk and I'm 402C. Here's my desk, here's my office. So I'm gonna go in. Oh, this is where I work, it's a bit of a mess. I sort of left it. I've got bookshelves and another little bookshelf and I have a window to the outside yeah. and I have a computer here that allows me to do my work and I'll continue this later. So if you uh, went to the third floor of the engineering building, you'd find another little atrium study space. Usually the space behind me is full of students sitting at tables, working on homework, having fun, maybe eating lunch and I'm gonna take you now to the lab where if we had the boot camp, this is where it would be. It's our freshman engineering lab. So walking down the hall from the atrium space, we have some lockers here where students store their contraptions, the things they make, so they don't have to carry them on the bus all the time. And uh, there's a building next door. So we're Portland State is in the middle of the city. So here's an, uh, it's actually an engineering building next to us and apartments further on. So we're walking down to what we call our freshman engineering lab or first year classroom. So once again, use my card key to get in. 
So this is a space where normally we have the boot camp. We have uh, little machine tools here. These are milling machines. They have little readouts. They're not digital. They're, they're digital readouts, but they're not CNC, not automatically controlled. A little front podium and a bunch of tables. I'll back into the corner here to see a little bit better how the room looks. So this is where boot camp normally is. And I'm sorry that you can't be here with me or be here in the camp, but if you like what you see at the camp and you decide to come to be an engineering student at Portland State, and in particular, if you want to become a mechanical engineering student, this is where your first engineering class happens. So groups of students work on projects. We sit at round tables. Uh, we do some lecturing. There's a whiteboard at the front and an overhead projector, but a lot of work happens either at those round tables where students are writing programs or hooking up sensors, or at these other workbenches where they're making things, putting things together, uh, drilling, cutting, etc. So it's just a flavor of what we do here at Portland State, and I hope this video tour is, uh, it's not satisfying, it's not as good as being here, but I hope it gives you a little flavor of what we do when we're not all locked down and trying to stay safe.